for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course or, but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately been answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in the home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course. And it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, a, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. It's introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. Introduction to programming in Sikyata. I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai Port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yava Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Funny experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing the entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is... Uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also, apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course was really like, uh, no, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
just a second sir i'll be what is yeah okay sir uh, you can proceed with your introduction part so very good morning to all of you and uh, all uh, eminent dignitaries and all the participants we gather here to keep raising nptel awareness among uh, participants and the community at large i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude gratitude to iit madras for allowing me to share the introduction information with the audience it is in my perspective nptel is an excellent program for students faculty members and all other interest, interested fellows so actually the nptel stands for national program on technology and learning which was founded in 2003 by seven indian institute of technology this iit bombay iit delhi iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit madras iit guwahati and iit rurki and the indian institute of science bangalore to give quality education to anyone interested in learning from the iits the main objective to create web and the video courses in all major branch of engineering and physical science at the undergraduate and the postgraduate levels and also the management courses at the postgraduate level so that is the basic objectives uh, or i mean basic objective for the nptel program and um, also the uh, one more thing is very important that is the nptel is the uh, largest online repository in the world of courses in engineering basic sciences and selected humanities and social sciences subject and the uh, online web portal so that is uh, uh, i think the uh, moderators will show the uh, link from uh, link is that is nptel.ac.in and uh, from there you will get all kind of uh, informations and the all online web portals now have the more than 475 uh, 471 million plus views so that is very good and that is and uh, as a spoc of bakuda unani institute of engineering west bengal so we feel very proud uh, because our students are largely adopted the nptel and they are very beneficial for, for this program and also our affiliated uh, we are affiliated uh, in uh, i mean under molana abul kalam azad university of technology uh, where there is a very important part that is the mandatory additional requirements and uh, mandatory uh, and uh, for uh, for getting the btech in honors btech honors and so uh, our students are basically uh, following uh, the various mooc mooc courses but uh, specifically what the mooc courses is adapted or is uh, taken by our students that is the nptel and our students and our faculty members and all of the interested people from our institute are very uh, in i mean we are very uh, interested and uh, we get a lot of knowledge from the nptel so and on another thing is the uh, nptel provides a more than uh, 15 54000 plus hours video content transcribed and with subtitles most access library of peer reviews educational content in the world so that the nptel provides so nptel uh, okay so this is a uh, self uh, i mean this is a short introduction about the national program on technology and its learning i think uh, this program would be helpful for all the students all the faculty members and all other interested uh, personals uh, for uh, i mean for getting a good knowledge so thank you nptel and uh, for giving me the opportunity to share my experience so thank you all Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo. This is the NPTEL logo. Uh, we'll start off with it. So NPTEL is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together. It's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website. 
but we have certification not just certification for one course but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain uh, for faculty we have fdp courses which fetch you career points then we have internship opportunity for students we have soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on so this is what this presentation will uh, talk about okay so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms uh, nptel and swayam so uh, swayam is a project of the ministry the government of india mhrd and they created this in 2017 and said that okay so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo this is the nptel logo uh, we'll start off with it so nptel is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together it's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website but we have certification not just certification for okay so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo this is the nptel logo uh, we'll start off with it so nptel is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together it's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website but we have certification not just certification for one course but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain uh for faculty we have fdp courses which fetch you career points then we have internship opportunity for students we have a soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on so this is what this presentation will uh, talk about okay so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms uh, nptel and swayam so uh, swayam is a project of the ministry the government of india mhrd and they created this in 2017 and said
Hello, sir. Why is it not coming? Okay. So, why is it not coming, sir? What do you mean now, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, have you shared any video? No, actually. Uh... Uh, it's, I have not, not seen any video now. Hmm. It has been started, but now it has been muted. I don't know why. Yes, hmm. Please share again. But you can check that and then you okay. can so, join uh, this. Okay, so if you are familiar like with this to. logo, this Record. is the NPTEL logo. Okay. Uh, NPTEL start started in 2000. So, NPTEL is and, uh, today. The project now, it, uh, now it is working. Sir. Today, put together it's the vision, just about vision that we have had is and to uh, uh, record the but we have certification to IIT not just students certification for and one course, course, but it is uh, anybody who goes to make it. So so mute mute your mic, sir. Uh, due to the white voice system. Double voice system. Hello, sir. Access to their knowledge, to their teaching going on for the whole Students you know, I am denied this so opportunity. This opportunity. Nobody can take that today. Uh, more than two thousand okay. courses. So uh, you, you might have all heard you about go there and you can actually uh, NPTEL access the courses via. for free. So you can just uh, go there. You can go there. Watch all the videos. The the we have more, more than fifty yeah. thousand yeah. hours, and they created this in two thousand and seventeen, and said that all these agencies that you see below, right? To uh, access I am Bangalore, content. UGC, okay. CEC, there's somebody who's uh, asking the NPTEL useful for students of LA. They all have so National Law School Bangalore certification NLSIU under is offering uh, two so courses. So NPTEL is also a national uh, court. Jan, I don't know if they have in July. We have engineering, the UG level, the bachelor's level, the MTech, ME level, some PhD level courses also. But since we have courses. Uh, that are there in the management and humanities division inside IITs, we offer that also on NPTEL. NPTEL also coordinates with some institutes like the ICERs to offer, uh, say, the physics, chemistry, mathematics courses. We work with the IIITs. We work with National Law School Bangalore. We work with some medical institutions to offer medical related courses. So uh, maybe 90% of our courses will be engineering related humanities management and 10% is something else we help. So uh, NPTEL comes under Swayam and we coordinate this primarily. There are other agencies also. So one thing to remember, when you are going to swayam.gov.in and you try to enroll to any course or you try to join any course, please check whether the national coordinator is NPTEL if you want to join the NPTEL course. Because if you just search for, say, a database management systems course, right? Maybe there is some other college also offering it with somebody else's coordinating. So the course name that we offer will also be database management system. Theirs will also be that possibly. So how do you actually differentiate if it's an NPTEL course? On every course card, we will have a logo of NPTEL. I'll show it to you when we come there. But you can check that and then you can join the course. Okay, that is something that you have to look out for. Okay. Uh, NPTEL started in 2003 and uh, the project is 18 years old today. The vision, mission that we have had is to uh, record the content that is being taught to IIT students and put it out for anybody to watch and view so that nobody can say, I didn't get a chance to prepare for IITs. I am not in the IITs today. I cannot get access to their knowledge, to their teaching. Uh, hence, you know, I am denied this opportunity. Nobody can say that. Today, more than 2,000 courses we have in our repository. You can go there and you can actually access the courses for free. You can just go there. You can scroll. You can watch all the videos. We have more than 50,000 hours of video in our website. You can access all that for free. There is no charge. There is no free a fee at all to access our content. Okay. There's somebody who's asking, is NPTEL useful for students of LLB? So National Law School Bangalore, NLSIU, is offering uh, two courses, I think, in uh, Jan. I don't know if we have. In July, we had two courses, I think. And more are coming in that. So specific to law, we do have a couple of courses. IIT Kharagpur has a law department. So from there, we have some courses coming in. But otherwise, you can access the general courses that we have also, say, on uh, management or English. Those might be useful to you. Yeah. 
So whenever you think of a website, right, what really uh, do you look out for? Say how many people access that website? How, many, how much content do we have? In a YouTube also, whenever we go to and watch a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, one of the things we look at is how many people have watched that video or how many subscribers are there in that channel, correct? So this is the NPTEL statistics. We have more than 1.3 billion views of the NPTEL videos, okay? So this is like huge, huge for a technical channel which has no entertainment. You can't call NPTEL videos as entertainment. There is no song and dance or something. It's all faculty from the IITs, IIC teaching, serious stuff there. And for that, we have more than 1.3 billion views. We have 37 lakh subscribers on our YouTube channel. So any of you has not subscribed to our channel today, I think I would say you're missing out on something. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe for our updates so that you get it. Go to our social media handles, subscribe to our uh, social media handles so that you get the latest updates from NPTEL. And this is where uh, we are today as of NPTEL, okay? So these are what we do at NPTEL today. And if you do an NPTEL course, what is the use of it? So the very first point is credit transfer. I was just talking to Dr. Satish also about it and said that maybe we should try to see whether students can get credit transfer for the courses that you do from NPTEL. But yes, even if you don't get credit transfer, I think you get a lot of knowledge from NPTEL courses. Uh, for instance, say, what are the kind of courses we have that we would recommend to students in your college, correct? So we will say that we have a lot of programming courses. So we have programming in C, C++, Python, Java programming and all that. So if you are, say, a BSc physics student or a BA English student, maybe a BCom student, as part of your uh, program in the college, you would not be learning programming possibly. So you can go to NPTEL, you can learn the programming course, you can learn a bit of programming and also get that certificate along with your program. Wherever you go today to any company you want, they use some kind of a database, they will have some kind of coding that is there, they will have some kind of software they're using for uh, in within their company. It's good for you all to know at least something about it, okay? That is the first part. The other thing, okay, what are the other courses we have that is useful for you? If you're planning for higher education, you want to go in for a master's degree. Supposing you want to strengthen your fundamentals, your foundations, you want to maybe do some more courses from other institutes so that you're confident when you're attending interviews. Those courses will be available on NPTEL. So we have all the UG undergraduate courses. You can go through that. You don't even have to write the exam for each of these courses. You can just go through the videos. You can try solving problems. You can watch many videos, try to get knowledge from it and strengthen your foundation. So if you're going for higher education, I would say the courses are really useful. So first thing I'll say, try something like programming courses. When you go in for higher education, probably you want to try and strengthen your fundamentals. The third thing, try to learn something that is of interest to you, which you possibly cannot learn otherwise. For instance, we have courses on German language, teaching you German, teaching you Japanese, teaching you Sanskrit. So if you want to learn any of these, you can come to NPTEL and learn. So for instance, German is taught only by maybe the Goethe Institute and maybe some other institutes. Here the same course is taught, but it is free for you. And if you want a certificate, you can write the exam, but otherwise too, you can learn the German language for free. Same thing, you can learn Japanese language. Why are these useful? Maybe you go to a company that has branches, say in Germany, Japan, they have opportunities for people to go there, but you need to know the language. So at that point, this becomes very useful for you. So you can try to learn other languages also through NPTEL courses. Okay, maybe you're technically very strong. You have good foundations. You have good knowledge in your particular program. But maybe your English is not very good. Hence, you're not confident about speaking. We have a lot of courses like soft skills development, soft skills enhancement, how to attend an interview, the body language that you have to have when attending an interview, uh, interpersonal communication skills, leadership skills. So we have a lot of courses like this that you can also go through. It will give you a lot of tips on how to present yourself, how to ready yourself for such situations so that having the knowledge, you can also be confident 
when you talk to somebody and you are presenting or being in an interview so that's another set of nptel courses that we have as part of what we offer so there are multiple things so how many courses are we offering in january right you might be thinking oh there might be 10 courses out of 10 i have to choose and what do i choose here right we have 592 courses open for you to join in january 2022 semester so anybody who wants to learn i think should be able to get at least two or three courses of their interest that they can join and learn joining is free like i said there is no fee at all it is all completely free and you can watch it there are no live classes these are all recorded lectures so you can watch at your convenience if your college day uh, college time is say 9 am to 4 pm or something in the evening you have time you can sit and watch nptel lectures on saturday sunday you can watch it there will be one assignment every week you have to solve the assignment and you have to submit it for that also you get 10 days of time so you can watch the lectures you can try solving the assignment maybe a couple of you friends are joining the same course you can all sit together you can learn from each other you can solve together take help from your teachers and you can do the nptel courses so there is no such thing as there'll be live lectures maybe you'll miss a few lectures because you have college or something it is all video lectures along with assignment okay so the first part is credit transfer and learning from our courses yeah so this is the credit transfer i don't want to discuss too much about this because uh, we i think uh, your university doesn't have credit transfer so i'll skip this slide so uh, credit transfer just as a piece of information for maybe the faculty who are out here iits do do credit transfer from nptel courses we do it at the btech level we do it at the masters level for phd working professionals for them to get credit transfer also we do it so iits also do credit transfer from nptel courses it is not just the outside uh, colleges that have to do it. we ourselves do credit transfer from uh, nptel courses okay yeah uh, this is an important thing i would say so we have a program by which the toppers in the courses actually get internship opportunity with the faculty in the iits so whoever has offered that course they take in normally about two three five interns during summer or winter if you are a topper in the course so if you do a course very well and you become a topper in the certification course then we give you an opportunity to intern with the faculty so we are trying to scale up these numbers covid uh, hit us also so we could not get them but we hope it will be at least 200 300 students who can intern at the iits with the faculty so this is a wonderful opportunity for you to come and stay uh, you know in the city uh, be in the iit madras or iit kanpur or iit kharagpur or iit bombay lab you get to interact with the faculty members there you interact with their phd scholars there you can do all of this which will be wonderful if you are especially thinking about going for higher studies you'll get the idea of what is done in these institutes i think it's a, a really good opportunity for students outside of the iits to come in and experience the iits here so there is internship then we also do soft skill training so uh, there are many colleges who provide it on their own but there are also some colleges who do not have this training for their students so if uh, college students in local chapters uh, they participate in nptel courses then for those students we are providing soft skill training so this training is of two types we do a one week training or we do a two week training depending on how much time the student can spare and the college also wants the students to do so here we have group discussion practice we ask you to write your resume and we give input on the resume we ask you all to present about yourselves give feedback about how you should talk where you should look your body language and so on and there are also a one on one like every student will get half an hour with a trainer to discuss about how they should also do so the right side photo you see is a one on one where we do mock interviews we try to uh, simulate an interview and see how you are responding and then give feedback on how you should do better in your interview so we do soft skill training for students who do nptel courses so this is something that we do from nptel again if you look at numbers we have finished uh, soft skill training for more than 2000 students currently and we are doing about 10 colleges a month and we hope to scale it up yes we can extend it to y'all also and we can get it done okay 
so there's a seven or 14 day training program that I was talking about. Next. Okay, so somebody was asking, uh, will we get jobs uh, with uh, these NPTEL courses? How is it helpful to us and so on? When we do surveys of NPTEL students and where they have gotten placed, these are the companies that they have gotten placed so far. This is like some of the companies. Are, um, it's not all the companies that they've gotten placed for, but they have said that the NPTEL courses have really helped them when they went for the interviews. When they show a certificate to the interviewer and say, I did a course with the IITs. I got so much marks in that course. It really does help in the job interview. So those people also ask questions on that, assuming you've studied well and you can answer. It will definitely help you that outside of the college syllabus, you have done something more to learn and skill yourself. Also, companies approach us and ask us, do we have students in particular areas that we can send them their resumes? So we also collect resumes of students on our site. And if they are interested, we send these out to the companies and the companies call them for interviews, go through their uh, levels of recruitment. And we have been able to place NPTEL students from our side also in some companies. So we are still working on it. I hope this will increase. We are talking with more companies on this front. But otherwise, even if you have like two or three courses from NPTEL and the certificates for it, I think it will be hugely useful because of the logos we put on the certificate. Okay. Yeah. The next one, uh, there are a lot of uh, students, learners, faculty who do multiple courses with us. There are people who do uh, the courses, maybe, uh, you know, they do three courses in a semester, four courses in a semester. They are toppers in two or three courses every semester. There are people who have done a lot of courses with us. I'll maybe show you the data in the next one. But this is another type of recognition we give to NPTEL learners. So you can go to NPTEL website and at the top we have a link called NPTEL stars. So click on that link, click on any of this. You will see how many people are actually doing multiple courses with us. So if uh, students are thinking, oh, I don't have time and I'm so busy, I can't do it. You should just see, to, uh, see these pages to see how come these people who are working professionals, who are students in colleges just like you, or who are maybe, you know, uh, uh, studying or faculty or something, how are they able to get the time to do so many courses? If they can get the time, I think anybody can get the time, right? You just have to manage your time on when you're going to study and not waste time on something else that is not important, etc. So this page, I would say, please go and see. So these are the kind of uh, domain scholars, superstars, uh, evangelists and all we have. Uh, we have more than about, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I don't have the total, but maybe around more than uh, 3,000 as I can just calculate on the fly that we are going to have these people doing multiple courses and they are NP10 stars with us today. Maybe we need to update the domain scholars number, right? Okay. Uh, so there is something called domain certification that we have currently come up with in the last two years. So what is a domain, right? So a domain we have created uh, just to club courses together and maybe about five or six courses we have put together. And we say that if you study this uh, six courses and you get more than 60 in the course, in each course, not just pass it by getting a 40, then you get a domain scholar certificate. So why is this important? This is important because it shows that you have specialized in a particular area. So for instance, we have a programming domain. So in the programming domain, we have courses such as C, uh, C++, Python, uh, database management course, and then maybe uh, cloud computing course and so on. So if you do a programming domain, right, and you do all the six courses, it shows that you have a solid foundation in this particular area. So when you go for an interview and you actually show a domain certificate versus just one or two certificates from us, that will make more of an impact on the interviewing person. So this is something we recommend. It is more just to guide students on what to study to become, uh, to become and specialize in one particular area. We found that Many NPTEL learners do four or five courses, but they do random courses that are not connected to each other. 
so this uh, domain will guide you in what to study if you want to specialize in a particular area we have about 53 domains today in all branches of engineering management english and for faculty we have a faculty domain basic and advanced also so that you can also go through that part of it so you can go to our website there are more details on domains there uh, you can we can talk about it later too okay uh, yeah so these are some of the domains we have so for you it might be relevant the english studies we have a domain psychology we have a domain management we have it in marketing operations uh, patents and intellectual property in economics and of course engineering uh, and all we have couple of uh, domains so uh, if you are a general student uh, not an engineering student i would recommend the programming domain for you if you want to try out something do the programming domain or do the management domain that will be really useful for you so if you are an engineering student of course you can try any of the domains relevant in your particular discipline or engineering or you can do a cross discipline so for instance i am maybe mechanical engineer i like electrical engineering you can actually do the courses in electrical engineering and you can get a domain from there so here nobody stops you and says hey you are in mechanical engineering department you cannot study electrical engineering say power systems course power electronics course you are not allowed to study that there is no such thing like that anybody can study any course as long as you can cope with it so you can also do a cross department study by doing domains from any of what is listed here uh, this is what a domain certificate looks like we give this we list all the courses you have done and we uh, assign it out of course from the specific iit that we are giving it from okay we have so many domain scholars and as you can see the number of domain scholars is only increasing every semester there are more people who are planning and doing courses so that you can complete a domain one point to note though every domain is about five or six courses you do not have to do the five or six courses in one semester every semester you can do one or two courses and over a period of even two years you can finish a domain and get a domain certificate so don't think that you have to do six courses and get stressed out i cannot do it and all do one course every semester and at the end of say even three years you will get a domain certificate that's a very good thing okay so how do we do lab courses is it online uh, not really we do it in the institutes we do it in various institutes such as uh, iisers iit you can come here you can stay for a week at the institute you can do the lab experiments you can listen to faculty giving one or two lectures in the day and then do a lab exam and take a certificate so what is the advantage of this you will get to see really modern labs you will get to see what the state of the art labs are in these institutes you can see the equipment that is there the modern equipment that is there you can see the advanced research that is happening here you can interact and get explained on all this equipment so we had very successful uh, labs being run at all these places we had planned for about 40 more lab workshops last summer but of course covid came so we couldn't do it let's hope in 2022 we should be able to open the labs uh, lab courses again so this is a wonderful opportunity again if you do the theory course in nptel those people we will permit that you can apply and come for these lab certification courses and you can do the workshops here okay so that was the idea behind the question we asked you what else do we do at nptel this is for faculty in colleges so faculty in colleges under the aict scheme we explicitly have an mou with them where nptel advanced courses if you do and pass you will get uh, an aict approved fdp certificate so that is for faculty in aict colleges for those under the ugc scheme they have given a broad guideline that if you do a uh, uh, swayam courses there will be some career progression points but uh, the actual logistics i'm not sure you'll have to check within your university so that is something that is there but uh, we see that more than about uh, 20 30000 faculty write our exams every semester and most of them apply for the ftp certificates also this is very very useful for faculty i will say 
because you don't have to spend money you don't have to take leave you don't have to miss your college work and go to some institute stay for a week or stay for 10 days and then do an fdp course you can do the fdp course online itself just like the students you join for free on swayam portal you go through the course submit assignments and then you pay the 1000 rupees and attend the final exam and get your certificate once you get your certificate you can apply for the fdp certificate to us and get that too that's all it takes to do an fdp course with us today so this is very important for faculty i hope this is clear this is what the fdp certificate looks like you can see that it has the signature of the uh, director from aict also there is a regulation under which they have approved this the aict logo is there so this you can present when you are going in for your uh, promotion interviews right the conversion that they do is a four week nptel course is equivalent to half fdp of one week an eight week nptel course is a full fdp of one week and a 12 week course is equivalent to one and a half weeks fdp equivalent so this is the equivalence of it okay yes the next thing i wanted to talk about was gate coaching so we have started a new uh, link on our website and uh, somebody has given us csr money for developing this and uh, uh, providing whatever uh, i wouldn't call it coaching but yes gate preparation whatever we can help students with to have and prepare for gate exams free again we are trying to do from our side so you can go here and we have given uh, solutions to all the previous gate questions we have given uh, videos uh, solving those questions we have uh, uh, extra questions that are coming up practice questions that will be coming up small courses linking all the videos that are relevant to gate so we will be coming up phase 1 is only over phase 2 and phase 3 we will be coming up within the next 6 months so keep watching this uh, uh, link on npdel website if you are preparing for the gate exam okay that is one new initiative we have come up with the next initiative exams outside of india so till uh, 2020 we were doing exams only in india where you have to go to a center and you have to write it and then we got a lot of requests from uh, people outside of india saying they also study from nptel courses and they want to write exams with us so now we help to do that also people outside india can also write exams nptel exams and get certificates from us okay yeah so uh, translation is the next effort so for people who are asking in what languages do we offer courses uh, the faculty teach only in uh, english uh, for now uh, but the english transcripts we translate into eight languages so we do uh, tamil telugu malayalam kannada hindi gujarati uh, bengali and marathi so that's the languages that we are translating it into so telugu we have a lot of uh, transcripts that are translated into telugu language so the faculty will talk in english but you can also read what we have translated in telugu or tamil or hindi whatever is your language and you can understand it better we are keeping the videos in english so that you also learn english because when you go to work somewhere english will be the primary language you have to communicate in so this is something we are doing uh one or two courses we are getting in regional language for instance this time in january we are doing a machine learning uh course in tamil language the faculty is going to teach in tamil language there is a signals and systems course that is coming out in hindi language in july semester we are getting an r programming course in hindi language so only two or three we have most are in uh, english we don't have too many other language courses so that's something you can check uh let me take a question from the chat there are one or two saying i am from commerce background i am from bcom what courses we can take so for bcom students we do have a lot of uh, accounts related courses you can check those out go to management department i'll show you how to filter and learn from it you can go there and you can see how to do it so you can check out management related courses uh, in which we have accounts related commerce economics related courses that's something you can learn or if you are learning all that anyway in your college right i would strongly recommend programming courses for you all learn at least one programming language to know what is programming how do people program whether you write the exam or not i would say please write the exam 
But yes, even if you don't write the exam, at least try a course, do the assignment, see whether you can do something about it. Or if you're not doing that, I would propose the English courses. I would propose the, uh, you know, the German language or the Japanese language course that you can learn from. Those are what we have. Uh, quite a few for you to choose from. I would say more than 100 we would have for BCom uh, level students at least. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so these are translation, how many courses we have in each language. So in Telugu, we have 48 courses that are translated for now. So that's what we have, right? Okay. We have also uh, something called special lecture series. So we also have industry people come in and present lectures. So these are again free to watch, very interesting topics, very, very distinguished people who come and present lectures. These are vice presidents, CEOs, CTOs of companies like IBM, Capgemini, Infosys that we've had in the past, IAS officers who have come and spoken to us, film directors who's come and spoken to us, journalists in the Hindu, a director at Hindu, entrepreneurs. So I would really say you should go and watch these lectures when you have time. Even if you missed it last year, it's okay. But listening to such people is very inspirational, you know, what they have done, how they have worked, how they have brought up new companies, how they've started a company, where did they get their idea from. These are all really interesting to listen to. I would say, please go back and listen to some of these lectures. It will give you a tremendous amount of information, knowledge, and maybe there'll be some topic to talk about also. When somebody asks you something, it will widen your knowledge base. Okay, this is something that you can see. Okay, so this is what we have. So as you can see, 10 to 15 years, that is school children, we have learning from NPTEL currently, it is 65 uh, in that range. The maximum, as you can see, and like I was saying, is of course the student community. So 16 to 20, 21 to 25, we are more than about uh, 2 lakhs there. So that is fine. But if you can see the right side table, right? Between 86 and 90 years old, we have uh, two and we have uh, between 81 and 85, one person, 76 to 81 person. So like somebody said, age does not matter. There is no limit on age. Yes, we had a, a one madam in Chennai who's 86 years old and who actually studied German one and German two last year during COVID time. She came to the center, she wrote exams for both subjects, and she actually got certificates with very good marks, more than 80 marks, she got certificates in both courses. So that is our youngest learner, I will say that we have currently in NPTEL. So that is, I think, the uh, best thing for us that NPTEL has no age, NPTEL has no minimum age, maximum age to actually study from us. Age is just a numeric, Amit says, yes, correct, Amit, age is just a numeric. You can study whenever you want, wherever you are you know, as long as you can make the time. So this is something. And if you all are wondering, saying uh, how many students study how many courses, right? Maybe you think some students study only one or two courses and that's all we can do. That's what is useful, right? Look at this. There is one learner who has done 47 NPTEL exams with us. That's as good as the degree program or more than the degree program that all of you are doing. How many courses you all do there? I don't know, maybe if you're doing a BSc, it's a six into six, maybe 36 courses. Or if it's a BTEC also, if I say six courses per semester, it's about 48. So he's done equivalent to that. Okay. So there is one learner who's done 47 exams, 34 exams, 33 exams, 32 exams, and so on. So you can see maximum people, yes, 5.6 lakhs do one exam, but there are 1.4 lakhs who are doing two exams, 48,000 doing three. And if you look up to 10 exams even, right? A lot of them are doing 10 exams, 8 exams with us. So maybe you should think about and plan for how you are going to study, which courses you are going to do as you are in college. And every semester, try to do at least one or two NPTEL courses and finish with a certificate. That will be really nice that you can do that with your college. Okay. This is something we wanted to say. Uh, who are these people who are doing these courses? They are employed, they are faculty members, they are students, all people like you. So it's not like these people come suddenly from somewhere or they are also special, they are so privileged, nothing like that. They are there in all towns, in all kinds of environment. They also have their constraints, but they are also studying from these courses and doing multiple courses, okay? So this is uh, swayam.gov.in, okay? This is the uh, portal that you have to go to. And once you go here, 
you can click on the nptel icon that is given here so i hope you can see the screen click on the nptel icon it will take you to our nptel page okay once you go to the nptel page there is on the right side you can see that there is an email id if you have any doubts you have any questions you can ask us write to us on this email id or you can also call this phone number and uh, the left side if you see there is a view course catalog here this will show all the nptel courses that are open for the january 2022 semester so as you can see ongoing semester we have 593 courses open for enrollment and the number of learners who are already enrolled so far is 5 lakh 27000 so it is not like 10 people 20 people or 100 people learn from our courses it is in lakhs if you have not yet uh, enrolled to any course there are already 5 lakh people doing our courses don't be left behind go today explore and join our courses okay so go to view course catalog click on it you will get the details of every course that we have here the 593 courses will get shown here what will each card show you for a preliminary filtering so the name of the course comes which institute is offering that iit karakpur iit guwahati you can see the institute name you can see the faculty name apart from it like i said to not get confused if you want to be sure you want to do an nptel course ensure that the logo called nptel is coming on the card i'll show you the other national coordinators courses also but you have to be sure that nptel is coming here if you want to enroll to an nptel course then the duration of the course comes so there's a 12 weeks on the next card it's 4 weeks and so on so you can see how long the course is for when is the exam date and what is the last day to enroll to the course so these can be seen on this uh, uh, cards here okay now there are 593 courses you can't scroll down and see each of these correct so how do i filter from these on the left side you can see about five filters that are given there already we have filtered with national coordinator so nptel is done that's already there now suppose i want to see only 12 week courses i don't want to see eight week courses so you can search from here you put 12 weeks you can see only the 12 week courses that are given there the other weeks uh, courses get filtered out so that is point 1 supposing i want to see what are the courses that have exams in march what are the courses that have exams in april april so you can uh, check that out and you can see the march and april dates alone you can filter by that we can ask lakshmi whether the others can be cleaned up right can you make notes of these <coughs> so that's something that you can check and you can get the courses which have exams only on a particular date okay course credits is not important for you so i wouldn't really do that uh, supposing now we say let me look out for say humanities and arts courses that are there as part of nptel okay so you can see here basics of language science uh, contextualizing gender education for sustainable development german 2 course then uh, literature creative communication german 3 theoretical perspectives globalization introduction to econometrics and so on here also you can further filter if you want say just english courses suppose i want to see just the english courses in sub categories i'll choose english okay there's nothing coming here maybe you have to do humanities and social sciences i think yeah so you can see all the english related courses coming in here the humanities courses coming in here okay so that is something that's it supposing you are a bcom student like you were asking okay what are the bcom related courses so i'll go back yeah in category we can choose uh, what will we choose management and commerce okay and in the left side commerce and entrepreneurship are selected already so it is showing you all the courses related to that so maybe the bcom students who are here you can actually see these you can see microeconomics stochastic processes principles of management all these courses you can see here so that is for this right okay so you can go here you can search on this this is step 1 okay assuming i have found out the course i want to do which is business statistics now so i'm going to click on business statistics and i'm going to open the course page what information do i have here you can of course see the course title at the top you can see the faculty and the institute okay 
how many learners have joined the course to till today so that is something that you can see okay that information i have now the next information when does the course start when does the course end when is the exam date on the right side you can see all of it so start date is 24 jan end date is 15th april exam date is 23rd april when does the enrollment end all that is given here okay and you can see a gray tab at the bottom which says this is an aict approved ftp course which means for faculty if you do this course and you pass it you can apply for an ftp certificate for this you can watch the video given here which is an introductory video it will give you an idea of how the faculty speaks what the course has some details about it that will be there if you scroll down further you can see the course layout every week what is the content and topics that are being taught so you can see that that he is teaching that and you can see what are the rules for getting the course certificate so these are also given here on what you have to do what you have to complete for this particular course okay now i go back up and i am interested in this course i'm happy with the details i saw here i click on join button okay once i go to join button there is this thing called google okay we would recommend using google here please go to google and then you click on it your email id you can use your college email id make it into a google account or you can use your personal gmail id if you have it okay so i'll start off i'll fill up my name here uh, give your mobile number so that we can send you sms about your hall tickets about your exam any other reminders we want to send so please put in your correct mobile number in this particular joining form which age group do you belong to you can put that in so current country residing in currently will be india for students please select profession as student for faculty please select role as faculty if you want an fdp certificate unless your profession is faculty we will not give you an fdp certificate so if you are a student please select student if you are a faculty please select faculty if you are other uh, not a student not a faculty you can select employed or others okay these four have to be done carefully put your qualification year of graduation if you are in your first year and you are graduating in 2023 in the drop down you'll get up to that so you can see that we go on up to 2028 so if you are not yet graduated you can just say you'll graduate in 23 or 2024 or 2025 whatever that is more just for us to know which year of college you are in okay the most important part are you a part of nptel swayam local chapter you have to say yes if you belong to an nptel local chapter if you have a doubt contact your faculty on this check whether it is there and say yes if you belong to an nptel local chapter once you say yes select the proper state so let's go for pedapalli andhra pradesh we can go to maybe telangana right near telangana i think yeah uh, telangana and then uh, choose a college trinity so you can start typing trinity college you can see here trinity college of engineering with the pally that comes so you select the state start typing the college name okay then you put in your college roll number so that your faculty can track your details much more easily what degree you are doing what department you are doing all your degrees and departments may not be listed here choose the one that is closest to what you are studying these will not impact in any way this is more for data collection from our side put your roll number correctly because your college tracks your progress using that so do that put your study year whether you on first year second year third year fourth year whatever and then you agree to the terms and conditions and then you uh, join course okay that is all there is to join an nptel course it is as easy as that how many minutes did we take because i was explaining probably it took us even like 3 minutes if you were to fill the form it might take you i would say maybe 1 and 1/2 minutes so how long to join an nptel course 1 and 1/2 minutes is all it takes if you want to join 5 or 10 courses how much time is it going to take you 15 minutes the next time you want to join another course all the details will be saved you just have to go to the course click join and it comes the form will be pre filled for you so it won't even take you 1 and 1/2 minutes maybe it will take you 30 seconds okay no fees for it as you can see we did not ask you for any fees joining is free you can see everything for free till you come to the certification exam so there are multiple tabs here 
the left tab shows you how does an NPTEL online course work. So these are short videos we have made to explain what an NPTEL course is, where should you click to watch a video, where should you click to do an assignment, how should you register to the exam form, etc. Okay, go through these videos. It will be very, very helpful if you're doing an online course for the very first time. Okay, click on all of these, watch these videos. Maximum, it will take you 15 minutes. Each video is just two or three minutes long, not more than that. Okay, and then at the top on the red color bar, you can see there are four tabs. Announcements tab. Announcements is very important because whatever we want to inform you, we will put as announcements here. This is the first announcement. Every week when we put out content, we'll put an announcement here and say this week's contents are released. This week's assignment is released. Your assignment deadline is coming. We will put all that out. So every day, just log in and check out the announcements tab to see whether we have put out any announcement. The second one, ask a question. Ask a question is very, very important because it is the discussion forum. Just like it, uh, the name says, ask a question. If you have a doubt, if you do not understand something, you want to ask some clarification, put it out here in ask a question. The faculty and their team will help answer your doubt. Okay, it is a direct connection for you to interact with the faculty, to interact with the team and to get your doubts cleared. This is support that we give when the course is running. Okay, that is something that you can do. The third tab is progress. Progress is again very important because it will show you your marks that you have gotten in every week's assignment. So that's something that you would want to keep track of because for getting the final certificate, you have to get more than 40 out of 100 average assignment score. So every week you have to see whether you submitted on time and whether you got the marks for it. Please get, keep checking this progress tab. Uh, once the course starts and the assignments start closing, the progress tab will start showing your marks in the weekly assignments. Then the last tab is for mentors and local chapters, not necessarily for you. Your college can explain this for you to uh, attach yourself to your mentors okay so this is about the portal it's very simple portal there are only four tabs here every week when we start adding content on the left side the content will start showing up it will come as week one week two week three it will keep coming there and inside that there will be maybe five six seven videos that you have to watch one assignment that you can uh, you have to do for that particular week and there'll be some transcripts for that particular week so you can see that and you can progress. So some uh, student was asking, how can we manage our college along with the NPTEL course? Like I said, there are no live lectures, live videos that you have to attend at say Monday, three o'clock, you have to attend this. Otherwise you will miss the course. On Tuesday at maybe 12 o'clock afternoon, we have to, uh, we are providing this lecture, please attend. It's not a live lecture. It is recorded lectures. You can watch it at your convenience. How else do you manage it? Every week we put out about two and a half to three hours of content. Okay. So maybe for watching it, it will take you, I would say if I'm making notes also, which typically I expect students will be doing, it might take you about five to six hours, I would say, to watch the video lectures for that particular week. Assignment might take you another one or two hours. So I would say a total of maybe eight hours is good for an NPTEL course if you want to really get more than 80 or 90 in that course, right? So you can uh, kind of plan for it and say that every day from Monday onwards, let me watch one video for that particular week, correct? So that you finish watching one one video by Saturday, you watch all videos for that week. On Saturday, you can do a recap, maybe watch something you've not understood, go through the discussion forum and then attempt the assignment. So this is an easy thing to do. I think as students, all of you would have half an hour during work days and you can have maybe two, three hours during the weekend. You can spare for studying an extra course. So our recommendation is do not try to do more than one or two courses every semester. Do not aspire for five or six courses unless you're very confident, unless you know the subjects very well, unless you have the time to cope up with, unless your other load, whether you're working or whether you're a student or something, are able to manage both. So I would say if you're aiming for certification, one or two courses a semester is a very good thing, very easy thing to aspire for. 
it is absolutely doable okay you can do it from your side it is like i was showing you why were we showing you the slide that somebody has done 47 exams with us he does six six exams every semester six courses he studies with us so that is something that other people are doing if they can do six courses every semester can we not do one or two courses per semester i think that should be fine you should just be able to manage your time maybe get off your social media and just don't keep scrolling on all the things that keep popping up and keep responding to something here use your time more wisely use your time more efficiently and i think you should be able to do one or two courses very very easily every semester and say you are in a three year program a ba bsc bcom if you start off from say your semester 1 or semester 2 when you finish the program you easily have about 6 to 10 nptel certificates it's very valuable you would have gained a lot of knowledge plus additional certifications also if you are in a be program too by the time you come to placements you will have enough certificates to show your expertise okay so that is definitely doable and i think uh, yeah i hope this is clear on how to register how to search for courses if you have any doubts if you have any guidance required please ask your faculty teachers they should be able to help you if you have any questions on the portal right to support at nptel.iitm.ac.in we will reply to you helping you out in whatever question you are asking okay so how do we uh, put the pass criteria the assignments that you submit every week we take the best 3 out of 4 weeks assignment for a 4 week course best 6 out of 8 assignments for an 8 week course best 8 out of 12 assignments in a 12 week course the average assignment score must be greater than or equal to 40 out of 100 that is criteria number 1 then the exam that you given the center you should score more than 40 out of 100 in that also then you get a certificate but it's not enough if you you know just aspire for getting a 40 i think that is uh, not the way that you should be studying you should aspire to get 60 70 80 90 even a 100 right so we have special categories for those who score so much so more than 60 if you get we give you an elite tag more than 75 it's a silver medal on the certificate more than 90 it's a gold medal on the certificate and then we have toppers also that are put on the certificate okay yeah this is what the certificate looks like it has the nptel logo uh, then it has your photo on the certificate it has uh, as you can see the elite tag the gold medal we have just put it here to say if you fall under these categories you can see all these coming on your certificate then uh, the institute so if iit madras offers the course uh, at the bottom where the institute logo and round is put you can see iit madras uh, logo there iit madras the name will be put there signatures from our side will come and so on so this is the way that you can see how the certificate looks okay there is a qr code at the back and people who want to verify the certificate maybe your employer maybe uh, from the college they can just scan this and we will show the actual certificate from our server side so this is a way to e verify the certificate that the student might bring and present to you okay yeah i think we've seen all this so i'm going to run through all of this i'm not going to talk about this we had 20 lakh people who joined our courses in january semester 20 lakhs who joined our july semester and in 2021 we had 16 lakhs who joined the jan semester 16 lakhs who joined our july semester so it's not 5000 it's not 10000 it's not 1 lakh like i'm seeing on the chat window here but it is 16 lakhs who was our enrollment number last semester out of these exams uh, those who are written over the last 5 years it is 15.1 lakh people have registered for exams with us and they've gotten so our total enrollment in nptel today is 1.58 crores over the last 7 uh, years from when we are running this certification project we have finished 3500 courses almost and enrollment is 1.58 crores 15 lakhs exam registration that's the thing so you can see how big nptel is nptel is not something that we are doing 100 200 500 people or something like that every semester when we conduct exams in march and april it's 3 lakh people who write our exams so that's the uh, level at which we do we conduct exams all over the country in about 170 cities we conduct exams outside india like we said so this is our data so if somebody tells you uh, okay i haven't heard of nptel you should really tell them saying that 
15 lakh people enroll every uh, semester and 3 lakh people write exams. How come you're missing out? You know, that's the answer I will give them. Okay, uh, you can see a lot of feedback about NPTEL on our social media handles. We keep regularly posting about it. We are uh, present on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube community. And you can see all the feedback that we have posted there about people who have gotten jobs, people who have gotten through the soft skill training, who have done our courses, course feedback, everything is available here. So do subscribe to our social media handles so that you can get updates from our site. So this is just a summary. We do courses in multiple departments. All departments are covered here. So there were some students asking chemical engineering, what courses can I do? Just filter by chemical engineering on SOIM and you can see the courses we have, whatever interests you, you can do that. So we have so many courses, maximum courses, of course, are in computer science, humanities, electrical engineering, followed by, of course, management, mechanical and so on. So this is what we have. We have courses from multiple institutes. Apart from IITs, we have other institutes also offering courses for us. There are institutes from outside India, abroad, who are offering courses with us. So these are the institutes. Next. Uh, so we have... Uh, next. Yeah, exam attendance percentage for NPTEL courses is typically 90% and the pass percentage is anywhere between, it's like, the pass percentage is typically about 70 to 75% in the last three semesters we have seen. So that's a good percentage, I would say, as compared to even sometimes university results that we have seen or whatever. So this is the thing. Uh, faculty participation has been very large so far. So we've had more than 30,000 people write exams every semester with us. So that's what's been happening. And uh, about 13,000, 15,000, 8,000 apply for FTP certificates. Next. Okay, I'll just give a brief on NPTEL local chapter because I don't know how many of you are faculty from different colleges who are not a local chapter with us. So NPTEL works with about 4,500 colleges today across the country. And we have coordinators in each of these colleges who are called a single point of contact or SPOCs. And uh, through them is how we are so successful. So thanks to all the local chapter SPOCs, whoever is watching this workshop today, who is not watching the workshop today, whoever is anywhere, they are the champions for NPTEL within the colleges. Without them, I don't think NPTEL would have grown so much. So thanks to all the SPOCs of the local chapters, and I would like to just briefly say how you can become a local chapter if there's somebody watching who's not yet a local chapter. So to become an NPTEL local chapter, there is no money involved. There is no financial dealing. You just need to send us an email saying that you want to become a local chapter. There's a Google form on the website, fill it up. And we need a coordinator in your college who will be our local champion. So the head of the institution, the director, the principal, whoever has to send an email saying that we would like to become a local chapter and so and so will be the single point of contact for NP10. And that's all. Once we receive the email, we'll verify some details and we will make you a local chapter. So <clears throat> what? why should you become a local chapter? Can students and faculty from colleges who are not local chapters participate in NPTEL? Yes, totally. You can participate. You can be a free learner. You can uh, learn from our courses without belonging to a local chapter. But having a local chapter in a college is a big advantage. There are logins that the single point of contact or the SPOC has. One is a login on Swayam portal. One is a login on our NPTEL website. And here they get information related to enrollment, exam registration, the marks, the transcripts, the certificates. All of this is given to the SPOC directly that they can actually see and they can share with their management. Also, the other benefits are if we don't have a center in your particular city, you can request for that. If they have more than 200 people writing exams, we can facilitate centers in your particular city. Uh, faculty can become mentors. You can follow the progress of your students in the colleges that you can do. Uh, another important thing I will say is we have CSR support from companies who also give us money to help students from economically weaker backgrounds to write exams. So this fee waiver we give only to local chapters. So if you're a local chapter and you have students who come from economically weak backgrounds, if they are doing NPTEL courses, writing exams, once they pass it, we will refund 50% of the fee to them based on the college's recommendation. So that is something that you can do. Also, all this data that we give to the SPOC can be directly shared with bodies such as NAC and NBA when they come for accreditation. 
and you can say that we are showing this data inside your dashboard that has also been very helpful for colleges is what we came to know these are local chapters that we have this is the state wise distribution uh, i think maharashtra is the highest followed by tamil nadu every semester we also we have some few local chapters outside of india and some countries they are not very active but yes they do keep using our courses as they can uh we also rate local chapters every semester based on the participation from their side in the particular semester so how many people have become toppers how many people have written exams how many people have uh you know uh done well based on it we also rank and rate the college local chapters and we uh, publish this list publicly on our website every semester other interactions with local chapter uh, people we do soft skill training like i already spoke about it uh, we take help of people here to go to exam centers as our representatives uh, faculty can help in translation effect efforts and uh, yes like i said we rate it and we give recognition to the spoc and the college also every semester so this is the local chapter participation uh, tamil nadu is the highest year and so last semester i think 22000 students from telangana have written exams with us okay uh, these are for the jan december 2021 we just announced the local chapter rating so these are the ratings the top 10 uh, local chapters as uh, rated by us so you can see there is telangana college in that too gokaraju rangaraju institute which has come in uh, in the top 10 so these are certificates that we give them based on the formula that we have to the college and the spoc yeah these are other categories that we have on based on faculty participation based on how local chapters improve semester after semester there is a separate category for arts science colleges also yeah this is a yeah star lc who have been in the top 10 or top 100 over the last 4 uh, years that's something that we have done that's it as a presentation that we had today so i hope you learned about nptel about what we do here the nptel office the head office is in iit madras we have our head office here about 70 people work in nptel office in iit madras we have uh, smaller offices in iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit roorkee iit guwahati bombay delhi and iisc bangalore also and we all work together to keep this project going it's one of the most successful inter institutional project that eight institutes come together to work on this project and kind of run it for 18 years without a break and to kind of offer 2000 courses that we have today that's what we want to say so my uh, suggestion and uh, uh, you can say maybe i'm old enough to advise all the young students out here also is try out nptel courses today go and go to swayam website join a few courses learn from it sample the videos there you may or may not be able to follow certain videos you may not like certain courses maybe some courses are difficult it's okay you can drop off it is not like a college course that once you join a course you have to be in that course you have to complete that course otherwise somebody will think something somebody will ask you something or maybe a paid fees that will get wasted there is nothing like that in an nptel course so you can join even five courses you can join even 10 courses and you can try out week one videos you can see what you are interested in and then shortlist it to maybe one or two courses follow it up see whether you are able to do assignments maybe it even comes down to one course in a semester but follow it till the end do all the assignments watch all the videos register for the exam do the exam and become a topper in it i think that's something that is very very doable i hope you were able to get that message as we presented in the last one and a half hours that is what we were trying to tell you that don't be afraid that these courses are from iits i cannot do it it will be very difficult there are 15 lakh people who have written exams with us so far it is not like all of them are coming out from iits or they are all like very well accomplished they are all coming from highly studious backgrounds nothing like that they are also students just like you in any college what you need is the interest to study what you need is the motivation you have to put out time it is not like two days before the nptel exam let me study and get a certificate you will not get a certificate every week you have to watch videos every week you have to do the assignment then you can definitely get a certificate so you need hard work 
and it will pay off okay but it is not like i cannot do it there is no such thing as i cannot do an npetal course anybody can do an npetal course we showed you people from age 86 years doing npetal courses we showed you people from all nook and corners of the country doing npetal courses there is local language translation support of transcripts in some courses that will help you understand the subject better your faculty are there to help you if you do not understand something your friends are there to help you if you all join a course together discussion forum is there ask questions ask doubts if you have something there but try out and learn something which is outside of your college curriculum today when companies are looking out for recruitment one of the things they see is okay your college degree is there apart from this what have you done that is something that all of them are looking at are you able to learn on your own are you able to study outside of college curriculum are you picking up any skills that are relevant for any job you might be trying for this is something that companies do look out for it's not just a resume saying bsc with this ba with this that might be one thing but then we look at okay what else what else what else that is something that all of us look out for when we are recruiting people so it might be good to have a few certifications to at least get your skills enhanced to learn what you are interested in to try and explore new opportunities that are there it is free there is no fee to learn you can download and watch the videos you can download and do the courses you can enroll in swayam courses and do it only the final exam has a 1000 rupees fee that also we are giving fee waivers if you are a local chapter so you can use that also you have to pay first get your exam done pass the course we will be able to help you with fee waivers on that front also so don't let money be a barrier don't let anything else be a barrier put in your time put in your effort learn from nptel get skilled and i hope you do much much better looking forward to meeting all of you sometime in the future when we probably travel to your college and maybe we get to do an in person workshop we will see when we can do that in the uh, coming years or whatever till then all the best and i hope that all of you do enroll to a course and uh, thank you so for giving this opportunity for organizing this workshop and letting us interact with the students uh, handing it over to you thank you Yeah, sir. Uh, so, but uh, sir, you can now uh, present your PPT about the impact of sales. Yes, sir. sir. there is some issue on uh, suprata sir so gilbert rani ma'am you can start presenting your ppt uh, yeah okay sir i share my screen Good morning to everybody. I'm Dr. M. Gilbertoni from Orlando College. In our college, Swami Mooks Committee formed very well and functioning is very well. Now I'm very happy to share our successful story to you. Our college has a local chapter recognition since 2021. On 2021 onwards, we have we had a lot of meetings as well as the adopt so many different programs from neptel portal we create the credit transfer policy that is as the self learning course 11 pg students are earned credit as well as they are tr transfer their credits to self learning courses and three ug students are successfully completed their spyam course on leadership 20 students completed their online soft skill training on interview readiness out of 31 students 96 students are registered for the same training program and they are awaiting for their mock interview 57 students are in online soft skill training on interview readiness and they are also waiting for 
their mock interview to finish this training. In from the faculty side, 14 faculty members have completed their FDP and regular courses and uh, repressor courses. Now, our staff members are getting ready to give the course proposal to CCEC. And we handled so many workshops on Swayam and MOOC. We are ready to collaborate with other institutions to initiate you for establishing the MOOC and Swayam identities. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Am I... Ah, yes, sir, you are audible, yeah, sir. It's audible, sir. Carry a screen and pass on the script. Your mic is mute, sir. Hello. Yeah, huh. You, you are muted, sir. Is, uh, am I audible now? Uh, yes, sir. You are audible, sir. So. Okay, so. Um, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so uh, what uh, what the thing uh, we are going to discuss now? That is the uh, the objective of the today's workshop is to explore about the domain certification, and uh, we are basically mm, uh, uh, as an affiliated college. Our college is the affiliated college, and uh, we are uh, uh, interested to. Uh, I mean, we motivate our students to uh, do the NPTEL courses for uh, getting the honors degree, BTEC honors degree, as the MAR or mandatory additional requirement is the uh, essential criteria or essential qualification for the students. So, in this uh, object, in this, uh, in this object, in this objective, we prepare an introduction. Uh, I mean, uh, introductory. Uh, uh, I mean, Files. And uh, Professor Vikram Sina actually he is uh, the assisting the MP NPTEL. Uh, 
சரி ஓகே थैंक यू सर கில்பர்ட் ராணிங் யூ ஆர் மேக் தி ஃபைனல் வாட் ஆஃப் தேங்க்ஸ் so so faculty uh, uh, our our most of the uh, faculty members they are interested to uh, i mean uh, perform the various faculty development program like from mechanical engineering civil engineering and computer science engineering and all the engineering disciplines uh, also the management uh, disciplines uh, also uh, they perform the faculty development program and our almost uh, uh, all students they are attending the various courses and uh, mm, uh, i mean we attended uh, the imperial courses since 2016 uh, with the and our local uh, coordinator is the <clears throat> iit kharagpur and we got a, a really uh, help a bit, good help from them and specifically from the iit madras and they i mean they gave us a lot of uh, help for performing this, that session or uh, uh, resources uh, that that are um, i mean which are beneficial for our students okay and uh, obviously the npt npdl uh, so that i must say the npdl is very enjoyable thing i mean it, it's a very helpful for all the students faculty members and all all others and uh, so that that's all and uh, that is the thing uh, that is the message to all of the participants who are here that in uh, that all please uh, attend the nptel courses for their future and for their own learning thank you thank you sir Thank you. Yeah, Gilbert Rani, ma'am, you can give the final vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. hello yes sir uh no why is it not coming sir someone no. is presenting what of thanks i think yeah yeah so will the one will be giving a final vote of thanks yeah i'm here sir yeah yeah you can oh, start okay okay, okay. Yeah. gratitude is a birth of uh, attitude i would like to thank all of the natural uh, group to provide this kind of e awareness program on swim courses i extend my extended my thank to dr bharati ma'am to explain all the thing nook and corner all the things about swim courses 
how to get it the uh, form and how do you enroll and how do you download the videos and uh, how do you start and end our courses within a stipulated time thank you very much ma'am as well as the organizers organizers your uh, very tremendous and meticulous uh, plan as well as the, your execution is also very good thank you thank you one and all yeah thank you all uh, today then we can end the live Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, madam. Is ended or not? Audible, yes. ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's ended. Student team, you can end the live. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for let us joining the meeting, and uh, it was a very nice workshop. Uh, I am very much thankful to Dr. Bharti, ma'am, uh, Dr. Subrata Pan, sir, and also I am very much thankful to IIT Madras. uh for let us joining the meeting thank you so much sir thank you thank you sir